Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Galvin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you are already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If that is something that you are interested in, please make sure to subscribe now. Hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that would really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, you guys, let's jump into the video. Kumusta naman ang nabubulul-bulul kong intro? How are you guys doing today? Welcome to another class discussion of a Team Galvis uh, online class. And like you hear, uh, like you see on the title and um, on the video, this is all about nursing theories and theorists. Now, this will be uh, another entry natin sa ating nursing theories where I actually create for you um, lecture materials that will help you study your nursing theories. So, um, kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung other nursing theories video I created, under this playlist i'll be putting the actual playlist link on the description box or whenever the icon button pops out click the one out because i'll be putting it there together with the uh, uh the other playlist i have on my channel related to nursing education now napakarami ko na nga pong nursing theories and theorists videos um in this type of video this is Ten, uh, supposedly very quick and short type of lecture material because every time I create such videos like this, like I want to give you an overview, uh, the tip of the iceberg about the theories and their theorists. So I cover five uh, nursing theories per each uh, upload. So if you want me to do a thorough deep dive or a thorough discussion regarding their theorists and their theories, let me know in the comments section below because that's going to be another video material, another video lecture for all of you guys. Now, before we further proceed, I would just like to grab this opportunity for um, f uh, to thank all of you guys for uh, always coming back on time on the um, online discussion and for all of your continuous support and love for the channel. And you guys have been receiving a lot of comments and um, emails from all of you guys chatting me from all over my social media platforms. I am so sorry, you guys. I haven't been able, I, I don't really have the time for now to reply to all of you guys. But I just wanted you to know that I appreciate you. I see you. And um, yeah, I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of your support. Now, um yeah if you haven't followed me in all my other social media accounts i have basically everything i have facebook uh, instagram snapchat um uh, tiktok i have of course youtube and i have a facebook page it's neil galve official uh, the link is also on the description box and i have a podcast channel it's 3 a.m conversation with neil gave tomorrow i'm gonna be uploading a new episode so don't miss that one out it's going to be fun it's all about motivation it's all about self-awareness mental health and you know wisdom and you know achieving the highest and truest expression of yourself finding your p purpose in life, all of that good stuff, okay? So check the one out, all in the description box. At kung hindi ka pa nagsusubscribe, nakakahiya naman sa'yo bago tayo magsimula. Magsubscribe ka na, okay? Alright, so handa ka na ba? Handa ka na ba? Like I said, this is going to be your ultimate guide to your nursing theories and theorists. Let's begin. Five theories tayo ah, for today's video. The first one, we have Nola J. Pender. Sino si Nola J. Pender, you guys? Listen to this. She um, actually uh, thought of the, or she promoted the health promotion model. Diba promoted? Yan ang uh, body of work ni Lola, Nola J. Pander. Ano to? When you talk about health promotion model, it describes the interaction between the nurse and the consumer while considering the role of the health promotion environment. Alright? So that's the brief discussion or brief summarization of health promotion model. What else? It focuses on three areas. Individual, 
characteristics and experiences, behavior-specific cognitions, and affect and behavioral outcomes. So when you talk about health promotion na models, may tatlo daw character, uh, characteristics to according or areas according to NOLA. Sabi niya, meron tayong individual characteristics and experiences. We also, the other areas have behavioral specific cognitions and affect and behavioral outcomes. If you want me to do a thorough deep dive discussion regarding health promotion model by Nola J. Pender, you let me know in the comment section below. Next, describes the multidimensional nature of persons as they interact within their environment to pursue health. Once again, this is the body of work of Nola J. Pender. Okay, proceed na tayo. How about Madeline M. Leninger? Leninger. I probably butchered her name, but yeah. Gets mo na yon. Eto na tayo. Alam ko familiar ito si Maring Leninger. O ba? Diba? Ano yung body of work niya? She actually initiated the culture care theory of diversity and universality. What is that? Culture care theory of diversity and universality. Anong ibig sabihin nito? When you talk about the culture care theory and diversity and universe, uh, universality, ang haba, that was very mouthful. It defines structural or uh, transcultural nursing as a substantive area of study and practice focus on comparative culture care. Yung caring, values, beliefs, and practices of individuals or groups of similar or different cultures to provide culture-specific and universal nursing care practices in promoting health or well-being or to help people to face unfavorable human conditions, illness, or death in cultural meaningful ways. Okay? So that is the summarization of her theory regarding diversity and universality. What else? According to Madeline, involves learning and understanding various cultures regarding nursing and health illness caring practices, beliefs and values to implement significant and efficient nursing care services to people according to their cultural values and health illness context. Lastly, according to Madeline, she focuses actually on the fact that various cultures have different and unique caring behaviors and different Uh, different health and illness values, beliefs, and patterns of behaviors. So, kung mapapasin mo mo kay ma- mababa, mapapasin mo mo ka, mama, no daw, nabubulol ako. I'm sorry. Kung mapapasin mo kay Madeline, more on universality and diversity of people in relation to health. May, uh, she talks about cultural values. She talks about perceptions and beliefs and behavioral patterns of people when it comes on how they're handling their health. So that's one way for you to remember the cultural care theory of diversity and universality of Madeline M. M. Leninger. All right? Okay, okay. Let's proceed. Okay, nakakatatlong theorist na tayo ha. Yung pangatlo natin is si Margaret A. Newman. Bagong tao, Newman. Charing. Okay, ano to? Ang ganda niya dito. Oh, very pretty. I really tried my best to come up with their pictures because this will help those visual learners for them to to really, you know, you know, have a visual presentation on who is the theorist and the theory. So, uh, sana makatulong ito sa lahat ng mga visual learners natin dyan. Okay, mabalik tayo. According to Margaret, ano yung prenomote niya? Ano yung kanyang theory? Health as expanding consciousness o di ba may kinalaman sa awareness i discuss natin to nursing is the process of recognizing the patient in relation to the environment and it is the process of the understanding of consciousness o di ba may pagka Oprah Winfrey naman po pala si Margaret Newman bagong tao nga naman kasi siya okay now the theory of health as expanding consciousness was stimulated by concern for those for whom health Not home health, but home health as the absence of disease or disability is not possible. All right. Lastly, uh, Margaret says nursing is regarded as a connection 
between the nurse and patient and both grow in the sense of higher level levels of consciousness so there's really an uh an internal relationship between nurse and patient and as they have this relationship as a nurse patient relationship they grow their uh consciousness in a higher level so that is health as expanding consciousness according to margaret newman okay so bago tayo magproceed sa pang-apat at panghuli nating theories for today baka naman hindi ka pa nagsa-subscribe nakakaya naman sa iyo Mag-subscribe ka na at mag-like ka na at share mo na itong video na to pang pag-good vibes. Eto na. Next, we have Rosemary Rizzo Parsi. Ah, di ba? Ang ganda ng babkat niya. Ayan po siya. Sino si Rosemary Rizzo Parsi at ano ang kanyang theory? Siya lang naman na nagpanukala ng human becoming theory. Okay, ano to? Makinig. Nursing is a science and the performing art of nursing is practiced in relationships with persons. Ano yung persons na yon? Individuals, groups, and communities in their processes of becoming. Right, taray. Okay, i-discuss pa natin to further. Explains. So this theory explains that a person is more than the sum of the parts. The environment and the person is inseparable and in that nursing is a human science and art that uses an abstract body of knowledge to help people. Abstract body of knowledge that help people. That's her um, uh, explanation uh, 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 in her human becoming theory. Lastly, so the human becoming theory ni Rosemary Rizzo, it's centered around three things. Themes. Ano-ano yung themes na yon? Meaning, rhythmicity and transcendence. Okay? So, ano ulit yung three themes? Themes. <laughs> three themes na makikita mo sa human becoming theory. Meaning, rhythmicity and transcendence. If you want me to do a thorough deep dive study, research, and lecture material about the human becoming theory, all you gotta do is to let me know in the comment section below. Alright? Lastly, <coughs> last na to, ha? Huh? Okay, ang last, ang last natin is tatlong kababaihan. We have Helen C. Erickson, Evelyn M. Tomlin, and Mary Ann Swain. Sino-sino kaya itong mga ano to? Mga babaeng ito sa nursing. Okay? Alam mo na pasiko lang, parang wala pang lalaking ano, theories. No? Parang karamihan sa kanila, babae. Baka mali mo ako pa lang. Charing! Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> Alright, eto na. Ano tong collaborative work ni Helen, ni Evelyn, at ni Mary Ann? Sila nagpanukala ng modeling and role modeling theory. Ano to? Makinig. Nursing is a holistic helping of persons with their self-care activities in relation to their health. Meaning, holistic helping of person. Meaning, when you approach a patient and when you deal with their condition, you deal with them holistically. Hindi lang natin tinitreat yung disease process, tinitreat din natin yung kabuuan ng isang pasyente. Halimbawa, may problema sa, um, what's this? Uh, ang problema ng pasyente mo is DM foot. For example, diabetic foot. And he is for surgery, for amputation. Of course, you're gonna consider doing referral to dietitian. Why? Because you wanna do a holistic approach by making sure that the patient receives therapeutic diet. What else? You wanna get the patient to be seen by a skin doctor or dermatologist. Why? Because you wanna make sure that the skin and the other parts of the body are being taken care of and being seen and evaluated. And if there's any indication of other assess, uh, other procedures or nursing interventions or medical interventions needed, you may be able to do that for the patient to provide a holistic approach. Hindi lang dahil na-admit yung pasyente mo sa DM foot, DM foot lang ang focus. No. What if the patient have other problems with compliance to medication, especially insulin, knowing that this patient is a DM patient? Kaya nga siya na-admit dahil sa DM foot, di ba, for amputation. Baka may compliance. So, saan mo siya i-refer? Sa patient education. For? For what? Further education and making sure that the patient will comply to his medication. 
right? So that's how you approach it holistically. You don't just focus on the disease process. You focus on the patient as a person and kind of like check which area you could uh, uh, was just promote. Uh uh, uh, the main goal is to have a holistic approach with their well-being and their wellness. So this is what their modeling and role modeling theory is all about. Next, to further discuss about this theory, modeling is a process that allows nurses to understand the unique perspective of a client and learn to appreciate its importance, okay? Next, and lastly, role modeling occurs when the nurse plans and implements interventions that are unique for the client. Ano mga example nito? Sa patient dito sa hospital namin, may SOP kami na yung uh, tinatawag naming interdisciplinary plan of care, which is updated every shift. Okay, this type of interdisciplinary plan of care is actually in line with um, NANDA. Remember, um, different hospitals have different SOPs and now they're go going to implement um, what you might call this nursing process. Diba sa nursing process natin, meron tayong ADPI, assessment, diagnosis, planning, interventions, and evaluation. Hindi na sinama yung rationalization. Hindi ba? So yung, yung, yun yung ADPI namin. Sa nursing interdisciplinary plan of care, we focus on a certain subject in a particular shift, in a 12-hour shift or whatever, for example lang to sa amin. And then we can Kind of like pick an interventions and see when is that going to be evaluated for, um, you know, for evaluation if it's met or did not meet. You know what I mean? So that is an example of role modeling, um, you know, when does role modeling occurs. Okay? Sana malino sa inyo yung work ni, ni Helen, ni Evelyn, and Mary Ann. Okay? So thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you learned something today. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. You let me know in the comment section below what other topics you want us to cover on this channel because this channel is for you. I'm trying to create nursing, you know, service concerns related to nursing education to help you help all the students and nursing professionals with their studies. Para sa mga may gustong mag-aral, mag-review, magkaroon ng reviewer, i-check out mo yung channel ko kasi napakara. Almost like 500 videos, lecture materials I created on this channel alone. So don't put that into waste. Hindi siya display dyan. Pakinggan mo kapag may time ka every now, every now and then, you know, from time to time. Make it a habit to listen to at least one lecture material I created and I swear to God it will help you uh, with your studies. It will help you refresh your knowledge because this is solely for all the nursing students and nursing professionals. All right? So, Tulungan nyo na nga ako, ipamalitan nyo na sa radyo sa ilang pinakabago, pinakafresh at pinakalibling nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. Don't forget to follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabe, except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gabe Official. I have a Facebook page. This video lecture is going to be available there. It's Neil Gabe Official. I do have a podcast channel. It's 3 a.m. conversation with Neil Gabe. Tomorrow, I am going to upload one. I hope I can see you guys on the show for tomorrow. And yeah, you have a great week and I'll see you again on Wednesday. Bye-bye.